Okay, so let's start talking about our graph. Today we're going to be talking about the most typical graph that you'll come across, which is a line graph. Okay, um, and this typical type of graph, a graph is used to evaluate behavior. Uh, time and behavior are the two variables considered. Each data point on a graph gives two pieces of information, when the behavior was recorded, or the time, and the level of behavior at that time, which can be in terms of frequency, duration, or possibly another dimension. Okay, There are six basic components to a graph. And we're going to learn those today, and as we go along, we'll make SACMED cards for them. So the first is the X and Y axis. Does anybody remember exactly where the X and Y axis are on a graph? Okay, I'm going to see if we uh, have remembered our basic scientific days, but... The x-axis is what we call the horizontal axis. I like to remember it as the horizon line, horizontal, okay? So that would be this long axis right here, x. And that would be pretty typical standard notation that you'd see on the graph. The y-axis is the vertical axis. I'm missing a little bit over here, so I'm going to move our graph a bit. There we go. And I'm going to say Y axis. All right. Perfect. <clears throat> so, our X axis usually denotes time. Um, during which a behavior was recorded. So that could be sessions, days of the week, months. Then the y-axis label tells you the behavior that is being recorded. This could be disruptions per session, number of tantrums per day, depressive episodes per week. Okay. Now in our example, we're going to be using the x and y-axis to denote how many SACMED cards we are getting correct and how many we are getting incorrect. So for our Y axis, we will need to create an axis label. Can anyone guess what's going to go along our Y axis? Remember that our Y axis is going to be a number, some measurement whatever it is, the behavior of record. And in our instance, what are we recording? Number of SAF meds. So for our Y axis, I'm going to put number of SAF meds. Number of SAF meds. Perfect. Now, when you label a y-axis, this is called an equal interval chart as well as a line graph. There are a lot of different types of equal interval charts. Um, but it's an equal interval because each interval is going to be the same measure. But it doesn't always have to go up by ones, okay? It could go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, maybe 5, 10, 15, 20, okay? But or it could go 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, but it won't go 1 minute, 1.5 minutes, 10 minutes, all right? Equal intervals. So number of staff minutes, we're going to go up by 2. Say 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. All right. Now... We've got our horizontal axis or x-axis. And what is the x-axis measure? Time. So what would be an appropriate label? Could we use a day? We could. We could say day one, day two, day three, but then that would really only limit you to being able to only plot one time. 
Instead, I think a better label for this might be test one, test two, or trial one, trial two. So that way, if you decide to test yourself more than once per day, then you can show that on the graph. So I'm going to say trials for our label down here. Trial one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, as I did that, I just reminded myself that we need to talk about something very important to graphing. And that's actually um, going to make this look a little bit funny, but I'm going to add a new line here because I don't want to rewrite all of my numbers. Okay. And I'm going to call this baseline. Here is going to be a measure or a data point that shows my initial ability to identify SAF med cards before I start actually quizzing myself and studying them using that shuffling process, okay? So that way we can get, all right, this is my initial um, knowledge base, and then thereafter, each time we study and we test ourselves, how many more SAF meds or how quickly we acquire our SAF med and terminology knowledge, okay? So that's our X and Y axis. Let's make sure that we have a SAF med card for it. All right, so take a SAF med card on one right, on one side, right X axis. And then on the other side, you're going to write the definition. The definition is, describes the unit of time during which the behavior was recorded. And the horizontal axis. Okay, now take another card and write Y axis on one side. Turn it over and then on the other, the definition. The definition for the Y axis is the behavior of measure and vertical axis.